now. Good evening. The state has yet to see a serious wildland fire this year, but for crews with the Alaska Fire Service, that just means more time to train. Today at the Chena Flood Control Project, firefighters staged an air and ground response to a simulated fire to get ready for the real thing this summer. News 13 reporter Tom Hewitt brings you this exclusive story. There were still patches of snow on the ground at the Flood Control Project just outside North Pole this morning, but the weather couldn't have been better for fire service crews practicing essential skills to combat wildland fires. The day's exercises began with airdrops of firefighting equipment. Those packages are great. We uh, can get anything from uh, hose, water, food supplies, chainsaws, all sorts of things. Anything we use out there. All, all our supplies come out that way. You know, we have helicopters and they work for internal transport and sling loads, but uh, we try to use the helicopters out on fires uh, for other things, for bucket work and, and crew transport. So the uh, paracargo is a great way to go as far as getting a lot of, a lot of cargo out there right away. After the equipment landed, smoke jumpers from the hotshot crew parachuted into the simulated fire scene. Jumper Rick Thompson says that dropping into an active fire scene from above is a skill that takes practice and good reflexes to master. It's a hand-eye coordination thing. You know, some folks uh, get it pretty well and some do not. They have a, a pretty uh, extensive rookie training program and uh, it isn't just um, physical fitness that you have to have. You also have to have uh, quite a bit of smarts in my opinion. The fire service's North Star fire crew is also on hand. That crew serves as a ground force when battling a fire. At today's exercise, new crew members got lessons in procedures on the fire line. Their yellow shirts were clean and bright against the forest backdrop, but that won't last when they see action. The, uh, the North Stars, we use them for mop up and some of the dirtier work that's out there. You know, some of the final uh, parts of putting fire out is some of the dirtiest stuff that we do. And uh, unfortunately for them, that's some of the stuff that they'll start out doing. There are 11 Bureau of Land Management fire crews across the United States. Two of those crews are headquartered right here in the interior. Manager Kent Slaughter says that's because Alaska typically has a very active fire season. But this summer, he says it looks like there could be a lot of action in the lower 48. Last year, Alaska crews were dispatched to fight fires in the Rocky Mountain states. Based on the weather there so far this year, Slaughter says that could well happen again. In the lower 48, it is already shaping up to be a very active fire season. Oregon, California, those states, um, their fuels are drier than they normally are in the end of June at this stage, so they're already shaping up. Alaska, it's really hard to tell what it's going to be. Alaska's fire season has yet to begin in earnest. But exercises like today's are meant to ensure that when fires that do inevitably begin to flare up, the crews will be ready. I'm Tom Hewitt for News 13.